Hey guys, Charlie here. So I just got myself a new water filter. You know, one of those like pitcher things where you pour water in the top, it passes through a filter into the bottom part. Well, on the label, it says it works by taking dissolved solids out of the water. But what does that actually mean, right? So you know you got three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Well, some solids can be dissolved in liquids, like for example, salt, that's a solid. And if you like drop a little of it in some water, which is a liquid, and stir it up real good, the salt kind of disappears. But what's actually happening is it's just mixing into the water. It becomes dissolved. It becomes a dissolved solid. So if you put some of that salty water into my new filter thing, it would remove the salt from the water. But this made me wonder what other dissolved solids are in the things I drink, you know? Like what would happen if I put other liquids into my water filter? So let's figure it out. Wonders with Charlie. Hey there. Wonders with Charlie is created in partnership with Wonderopolis.org, a website by the National Center for Families Learning, and supported by subscribers like you. So thank you. Okay, so I gathered a bunch of drinks to filter. I got Mountain Dew, milk, chocolate milk, Kool-Aid, and for the holiday season, we got some eggnog. The filtering process was extremely long. It took two entire days. I clogged three different water filters, but we finally have our results. First up, Mountain Dew. Here we go on the left, you have the normal unfiltered Mountain Dew. On the right is the filtered Mountain Dew. How about that color change? That's absolutely insane. Time for a taste test. It took everything out. It tastes like water. It doesn't taste like anything. Every flavor is gone. All of the color is gone. The smell is gone. The fizz is gone. It's all gone. That tastes like water. That tastes like straight up water. Wow. All right, next up we got Kool-Aid. This is one that's going to be interesting because um, to make Kool-Aid, you dissolve a bunch of solids, the Kool-Aid powder, into water. And because this filter removes all dissolved solids, it might be able to reverse make Kool-Aid and turn it back into water. So let's try it out. Here's the original Kool-Aid and here's the filtered Kool-Aid. This one kind of looks like the Mountain Dew, right? The color is just completely gone. Whoa, Ugh. it tastes really bad. Oh, this tastes like water with like a little something mixed into it. I feel like a lot of the cherry flavor is gone, but some of the like flavor components are still there. It tastes like a little chemically and maybe kind of like plasticky. I'm not sure, but something definitely came through in this one. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't like that one. Next up, we got milk. This is the normal milk. Here's the filtered milk. A little less cloudy, but otherwise it looks the same. Oh. All right. Woo. Uh, the taste is out of this world nuts. The, it, um, <laughs> all of the milk taste is totally gone. It's kind of like a dull gravelly taste. As weird as that sounds, it's like a little like, like a rock. Like you soaked a rock in water and then drank the water. It tastes really bad. I think I'm not going to drink any more of that. Next up, we got chocolate milk. Here I wanted to, to test to see if the filter could take the chocolate out of the chocolate milk. Here are the results. This is the normal chocolate milk, and here's the filtered chocolate milk. Mmm. That's not that bad. It's very, very sugary. It's not super creamy, it's really watery. It tastes like if someone put like this much chocolate milk in a full glass of water and then mixed it together, and then you took a sip. It's still like a teeny bit chocolatey, but not as chocolatey as the unfiltered version. It just tastes like extremely watered down chocolate milk. Not bad, and definitely not as bad as the milk, which is really interesting. Finally, it's time to filter some eggnog. Here are the results. This is normal eggnog, and this is filtered eggnog. It's very clear. Wow, that's crazy. No color, no odor, not even a trace of uh, eggnog in that. It took out everything and it just left the water. Wow, that's amazing. So I thought this test was very interesting. You know, we were able to find out what sorts of solids are dissolved in our drinks. And it kind of seems to be the things that give them their colors and their flavors, right? Because those were the things that were removed when they passed through the filter. Oh! Well, that's just a few things that I tried with my water filter, but how about you? 
try filtering some other things and let me know what happens in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wonders with Charlie, and I'll see you next time when I'm wondering something else. Wonders with Charlie is made in partnership with Wonderopolis.org, a website by the National Center for Families Learning and supported by subscribers like you. So thank you. Oh, and also by my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are the best imaginable. So thank you so much. If you'd like to check out some behind the scenes footage, head over to Patreon by clicking here. Click here to check out the rest of my YouTube channel and click here to watch another awesome video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.